Hey guys, it's Nadine. Good evening. Um, so I had a question, a comment uh, on my site from on my channel from um, Julie, and she had asked me about printing something, um, printing a picture, or using. Let me go back. She had asked me about using the PicFrame app that I had done on a, a previous video, and then what is the best way to print it out in order to fit a three x four Project Life pocket. So I'm gonna show her. So this is my iPhone, and on it I actually have um, my Project Life a file folder with all of my Project Life stuff in it. Um, and for me, it's easier to explain something by showing. And I also learn better by seeing somebody doing it hands-on. Um, so I figure I would extend the same courtesy to everybody else. Um, <clears throat> so this is the my phone and this is the pick frame app that I use wait let me go back um, I actually use several different ones so let me get this a little higher so as you can see well when I first started videoing let me let me go back a little bit I um, used a flip video camera and the quality of video wasn't that great it was really rather fuzzy so you guys really couldn't get a good view of what was on my iPhone but I have since um, and dug out my Sony camcorder um, that we had for forever and um, I'm, I'm using it which I really like the quality of picture from it um, the clarity on it okay <clears throat> so anyhow pardon the background noise my kids are watching Avengers and yeah it's pretty loud um, anyhow okay so here are some of the things I use of course everybody has Instagram um, I'm not a huge Instagram person every now and then I will use it because it does have some really cool um, filters on it um, I also have pick frame iris day one which I did a video on um, Dropbox I will do a video on that and show you guys how to utilize that it's really cool um, Frametastic photo collage project 365 I wish oh I got to show you guys that too that's a really good one snapseed photo text insta pick frame <clears throat> and this RL classic which is what I used for my um, QR code but let me stick to the topic here because <laughs> I have a tendency of always straying away from the subject um, let me go ahead and use pick frame okay so here's pick frame and I'm going to what I want to do sometimes in my project life is if I want to keep it to a two page spread I like to utilize or make the most of the real estate that I actually have so sometimes what I do is I will use one of these collages to put uh, several pictures in one pocket um, instead of having to do one picture and then make it smaller whatever um, so yeah that's what this is what I use okay Okay, so now um, I'm thinking that I want to, let's see, I'm thinking that I might want to use that frame, which is the four square frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap it, I'm going to start, I'm going to say camera roll, I'm going to go to my camera roll and actually pick some pictures. And let me see what pictures I want to use. Um, I'm going to do stitch. So the first one is going to be this one. Then the next one, we're going to do again camera roll. So all you're doing is tapping the sections of the uh, pick frame that you want to put stuff into. The next one, I'm going to do stitch again. And you can. Um, move your picture around so that way it centers just perfectly um, in your frame then I'm gonna do one well two more and this is actually stitch I got him a new baby a baby monkey um, toy and his name was Ollie and that's him with Ollie right there and then the last one we're gonna do him sleeping with Ollie <laughs> which is hilarious so let me move this up to the camera so you guys can see see he's sleeping with his little ollie <laughs> alrighty um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to when I get all my pictures just the way I like I'm gonna share it and I wanna save it and it's gonna automatically save to my phone okay and I know this might be redundant for them for some uh, but I figure I would just go ahead and share it with everybody in general so let me pull up my um, camera roll and here is 
come on camera focus there is the collage that I made with stitch okay alrighty so now I'm going to show you how to print this so I'm gonna take this video over to my computer and then I will show you from there uh, how to get it to print out in the 3x4 spot in another video um, but I'm going to keep it specifically to the pick frame collage that I did. So here's a pick frame collage that I did of Stitch. And um, now I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick Command P on my Mac. And it'll take me to this print screen right here. And um, I have my photo set to photo paper, my presets to photo paper, my paper size. The photo paper size that I'm going to use is a 4x6 because um, it is the most cost effective. Uh, efficient for me anyway um, and then for print size I want to customize and I'm going to go over here and do this okay so here's the thing um, Becky Higgins project life photo protectors is not exactly four by three it's more like four and an eighth so I'm gonna convert that to a decimal and then I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to print it out. And then I will be right back to show you guys what the end result is and what it looks like in the actual uh, 4x3 page protector spot. Alrighty? So one second. Be right back. Alrighty. So here is the final product of um, the printing that I had just shown you guys how to do. And I will tell you that the uh, print quality on this photo is not that great because I have been really, really lazy and not change my print cartridges <laughs> um, but anyway this is what it's gonna look like okay so the width this way is four and the height is three which is gonna be perfect into um, the project life photo protectors which I'm gonna show you in a second actually it's a little bit wider because like I said the Becky Higgins pages uh, protector pages aren't exact um, it's a little bit bigger it's a, like four and an eighth um, so I'm just going to use my um, little handy dandy um, guillotine cutter and I'm going to I'm going to leave a little bit of the whites on the side just a smidge on the side of both right and left side and I'll tell you why in a second because the right and left side it's an actual three this way but it's still a little bit off on the edges so um, and you know if it if it's snug, then you can always cut it down. <clears throat> but let's see. Alrighty, so. Okay, here we go. So this is the picture. And I'm going to show you this is the actual Becky Higgins uh, page protectors. And we're going to fit it in here. Nope, still a little bit big. So let me cut it down just a little bit more. But let me show you something else too. Hold on. <clears throat> we just need to take off just a little itty bitty bitty bitty. And now I'm not doing this exactly because um, this is just for this. But oopsies. Now oh, it's still a little bit. So let me cut some from the other side. But if I had done it, let me just. <gasps> oh, I'm a little bit off. I hate when that happens. Okay. So if I had done it an exact 3x4, this is an exact 3x4 size, okay? Now watch me put it in here. If I use an exact 3x4 size and I put it in here, you can tell that there is some wiggle room. So you can see the picture is not exactly... See that? It has a little bit of space on both sides, which irritates me to no end. It's not that bad if you're going to put a... Um, cardstock behind here, or like you know, photo, um, what is it? some other page behind there, okay? But if you just want to use just the photo itself, which I always do, um, you can leave a little bit of you know, make it make the picture a little bit bigger, and then so see, I cut down both sides, and now it fits snugly into the page protector. And let me just zoom in a little bit so I can give you guys a better view of it. See that. So there we are. That is Julie how you do a 4x3 
uh, for your page protector. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, uh, feel free to contact me, private message me, comment, whatever you need, um, and I will get back to you with an answer. Um, and anybody else for that matter, if you have any questions um, or anything, let me know. All right, guys. I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.